All right, thank you, Jen. Not your average police call. Just a few hours ago in Glenville, a baby was delivered in a roundabout on Glenridge Road. Police say they got the call at 2.42 this afternoon from a frantic man saying his wife was having a baby and the baby was out by 2.48. The new father did have some help from Lieutenant Rick Conley, who is also a certified EMT. Saw dad uh, with the back door open. And I pulled up. Um, the baby's head was, the baby was crowning, and dad was assisting mom. And uh, I just kind of took over, and uh, dad and I uh, uh, delivered the baby on the side of the road. And I'll bet dad was glad to see Lieutenant Rick Conley, too. By the way, it's a girl. We're told mom and child are doing well tonight and resting at the hospital. Well, Russian President Vladimir Putin speaks out about gays at the Winter Olympics. He says they're welcome to come, but we'll tell you what he says they are not welcome to do. Plus, fighting flames, how crews out west are handling that massive wildfire that is dangerously close to homes. Steve says our weather is changing for the weekend. He's back in minutes with what you need to know. You're watching CBS 6 News at 5 o'clock. CBS 6 Eye on Traffic is brought to you by attorneys Martin, Harding, and Mazzotti. Injured? Helping you is what we do. All right, let's go out on the roads and see what's happening on this Friday night as people race for home. This is I-90 at Everett Road, and it's a nice ride tonight. Let's check out the Northway at Exit 7. Not so nice at all. A sea of taillights tonight. As the backups continue, cars heading toward the Twins are in for a slow go. And finally, I-90 at the State Office Campus. And once again, you see volume building as they head toward the Twins. I'm sorry, not the Twins, toward the Northway and the Thruway Exchange. But uh, those cars, at least, are moving along at a good clip. All right, and uh, we'll find out now more about the weather from Steve. We're heading into a weekend, and uh, there are probably some skiers out there that might like to see some snow, and then there's the rest of us that might not. <laughs> Steve? <laughs> yeah, well, that's probably the way it is, Liz, and there will be some snow for the skiers this weekend. In fact, that's probably where most of it's going to be in terms of accumulation in the higher elevations. But a lot of scenes like this will be redeveloping uh, through the morning tomorrow. Linda Wheeler posting this on my Facebook page. This was yesterday morning snow sticking around through the day today. Of course, it was a wet, sticky snow. So uh, making for these uh, picture-perfect postcard-like scenes, which again will play out here tomorrow morning. This evening, though, it's pretty quiet, just uh, clouds mixed
next with some clear patches still. The trend will be for the clouds to increase. There were a couple of flurries on the radar from some of these low clouds a little bit earlier, but really nothing substantial. So this evening, early tonight, we're in pretty good shape. Temperatures, 36 at Albany and Schenectady, 30 at Glens Falls with North Adams at 31, Pittsfield 33 and Poughkeepsie at 40. So it's fairly moderate. And we'll see numbers dropping back generally into the uh, mid-20s overnight tonight. Upper 20s down in the mid-Hudson Valley as a uh, light south wind and that increasing cloud cover should prevent a really big temperature drop tonight. So a couple of fronts stacked up to our west. The fronts at the surface don't mean too much. It's the upper level system and you can see it very clearly right here, this tight little twist in the atmosphere. It's actually fairly potent, but it doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with. But still, it's spinning off some of these very small, narrow bands of moderate to heavy snowfall. So this is the system that'll be coming in tomorrow. But notice this uh, snow pattern is really very chaotic and that will likely lead to kind of a snow patch situation here coming up tomorrow. So it won't be a steady wave of snow that comes in. We'll get a moderate burst followed by some light snow, followed by nothing, and then maybe some drizzle in the valleys. And that's going to mean highly variable snow accumulation. But 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, it'll start to break out, and we'll likely see it expanding in coverage across New England, eastern and central New York, right through the early to mid-morning hours. Again, there will be a few moderate bursts to this snow as it uh, quickly comes through, and I think it's going to kind of hang around through most of the day with some patches of light snow, or again in the valleys, maybe just a bit of drizzle as the temperatures will be coming up into the 30s. It looks more like a nuisance than anything else, but accumulations could vary from as little as a coating in some valley locations to perhaps four or five inches in some higher elevation spots, especially through the Catskills, the Adirondacks, Vermont, the Taconics, Berkshires. All the high spots could be in for a little bit more, but the valleys probably not so much. Travel impact generally very low. Again, as most of this will be falling during the daylight hours and temperatures will be climbing above freezing, so that'll promote melting on the road. So I'm expecting highs generally mid-30s, maybe upper 30s around Hudson, Kingston, Pittsfield should do about 35, 34 for Glens Falls and uh, 34 for Saratoga Springs. Sunday, the morning looks quiet, clouds around, but there will be an approaching uh, cold front late in the day. So uh, an increasing chance for some widely scattered snow showers by later Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, 30 to 35. It'll be the last fairly moderate day as it looks like the jet stream pattern is going to do this for much of next week. Deep, deep trough of low pressure reestablishes itself. And this time the cold shot may very well be quite focused on the northeast and may have more staying power than the last two cold shots we've seen here. Uh, so it looks mighty nasty in terms of cold and wind chills. In fact, this is just kind of a early look at where temperatures could be. Still really in the process of evaluating how cold this air mass will be. But I'm thinking teens for high temperatures Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and overnight low temperatures single digits above and below zero. Some pretty harsh wind chills, I think, especially early on, so from Monday night into Tuesday as well. So get ready, Liz. It's going to get very cold, and this time the cold looks like it's going to stay around for some time.